Space kid, no energy. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. I don't recognize you. Something I can do for you? Yeah, I have this bloat fly gland. You asked for it. Oh, the field trip, of course. Oh, wonderful. Let me just take that. These glands are definitely the product of adaptation to radioactive exposure. Maybe our own insides have adapted as well. Wouldn't that be something? Here's a little reward for my new junior scientist. Dr. Duff. There's my junior scientist. Hope you're continuing your own biological field work. Professor Scarra. Dr. Duff handles all the visitors. Bother her. You want me to take Davis, a look at that terminal? Name I still Little find work. confusing. Oh, we're that away with machines. If you're the kind of person who is uh, tired of living in Diamond City, and you maybe want to Did a you know in chemistry you something? should never mix a base into an acidic you compound? have a new option. <laughs> Lost a few eyebrows the that way, I'll tell you. The of uh, Sanctuary has, I guess, been founded to the, uh, to the request there. Good luck to them, but, you know, the whole surrounding thing. And in other news, it sounds like maybe the... <laughs> not other news, it's actually the same news. The, um, the Minutemen were involved in this. That's the Minutemen. I, I thought I thought they were kind of done for. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy, if you ask me. And if it were real, it would be super dangerous, I bet. So, uh, right, okay. Uh, let's, do, let's do a song by the three sons, because well, if there's three sons, we'll be dead soon. Nuclear power destroyed the world, but without it, Diamond City wouldn't have any electricity. Don't touch the paint. What? Why? This is the wall. The great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. Least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Happy to help out. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged.
Charlie Brown again. Plenty of his records survived. Somehow. You build a there we go. or something. Hey, uh, have you seen the uh well, well there's this article in uh the newspaper, public occurrences. Boy, I mean, uh, oh, it's well it's 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 something. I mean I uh I'm not saying anyone is a sin, you know. I'm not. I'm not saying it's correct at all. And you know, of course, the mayor. I mean, I mean, I was. Uh, I, I asked to read. I, I have a statement from the mayor's office. You know, it's. Uh, well, I mean, it just it just says here there's uh, nothing to worry about. That it's, you know, safe and all. Everybody, kind of. You cause trouble, there's going to be trouble. Got it? Want to do something fun? Run the bases. You're back. You find that paint? Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Working hard? Blue! You know what you're doing there? The wall ain't blue. I think it'll look good. Well, let's hope so. I guess it's better than her going into disrepair, but... Damn. That's over 200 years of tradition we're moving away from. Here's your payment. Now get going. I got work to do. Some folks just have no appreciation. Right here, their skull bashes in the common. Don't walk Made outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. If you're looking to keep your load light, we can shoot the breeze about the old fashioned pistol. Ernie, let's see what you got. Something for every. No, not now. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles across the Kim I care cares about you. All your magic. Got Kim's right here for you, brother. Sure. Let's see what you got. Got uh huh. Protection for sale. Hand tooled pieces. You keep that synth hey, Sheffield. at arm's length. You understand me? Here you go. Common decency. What a pleasant change. 
Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. No sense allowed Diamond surplus. City surplus is. You think this is the best way to proceed? I'll start in here. Why don't you check out the living room? Must be some hint where that boy ran off to. You know, for all the talk, I'd put the chances of this being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and none. Just think about it. Earl Sterling, local assistant bartender. Why not nab the bartender himself? Lord knows Vadim samples his own wares enough that some weird behavior wouldn't make anyone bat an eyelash. And nothing over here. An Earl had lousy people skills. Might score the Institute some points in the last person you'd ever suspect category. But why not snatch someone with charm? Someone who could get you what you want. Earl could barely get you a drink by closing on a busy night. So where's that leave us? No known enemies. Wasn't much for the great outdoors, so likely not raiders or mutants. No, this all screams accident. No. What was Earl into that might have gotten him in this kind of trouble? Hello. Hey, come here. I think I found something. Hey, Valentine. Go ahead. Nothing else for now. Got it. You ought to see this. A receipt from the Mega Surgery Center, huh? I wonder what the good doctors have to say about that. Doctor? We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms for me. One at a time. Uh, never mind. We're done. Very well, then. Nice piece you got there. Just keep it wholesome. God, even the sky ain't safe. Did you see that blimp thing? 
Hey, Doc. Radiation poisoning is a common ailment, but we can cure just about anything. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? I'm a doctor, not a secretary. I'm sure he'll be around eventually. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. Not now. Very well.
You think they're done out there? We don't want any trouble. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up, you damn coward. To heck with that. I'm too pretty to go out like this. Look, whoever's out there, we were rooting for you the whole time. Why don't you come over here? Show us you don't mean no harm. <coughs> so you wanna talk this out like civilized folk? Or are you just gonna bash on my theater some more? Tearing the place up now? You finished tearing the place up now? Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Still won the fight, didn't I? Hey, Tommy. I guess that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Still won the fight, didn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. I saved your lives. You should be grateful. Grateful? For killing our meal ticket. Excuse me if I don't rush to embrace our savior. They weren't the friendliest bunch, but keeping those idiots entertained at least kept the lights on. To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. Oh, breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now. Now, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? I've seen better. Ha! Like hell you have. And while she's still armed and within closing distance, you are a brave one, aren't you? So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So, here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me? And him? Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Maybe I just think you deserve some time off. Maybe I like this one's face. I don't know. I usually got a good sense about this sort of thing. So what do you say? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's fee. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Then get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy. You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Hey, Kate. So, you're ready to head out? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Heading out with Kate, huh? Hope you know what you're getting into. Hey, Valentine. I think you've got something on your face. Oh, it's skin. Yeah, you might want to get that looked at. <laughs> 